Hi everyone! Um, apologies ahead of time for any uh, cheering you hear going on during this video. My, uh, my neighbors are playing some sort of um, game with beanbags out there because it's a really beautiful day and I'd really like to be outside, but I'd also really like to talk about this. One of the things that comes up when I'm talking to uh, my musician friends a lot of the time is the idea that because we only have a limited number of notes in the Western scale, it's pretty likely that every melody that is possible from that scale has already been written. So there's no way that anyone can come up with anything creative or original uh, from those notes. Um, it's kind of hopeless with the, the number of years that it's been around, everything's already been written. Um, so I wanted to figure that out because, hey, 12 notes, you can do some math and figure out how many possible melodies there are from that and uh, maybe figure out what the likeliness is that there are some original melodies out there. First of all, I really want to thank Ryan and Steve, my fellow bloggers, for helping me out with this uh, math because I, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not all that great, and I kind of forgot a lot of it back in high school. And that gets us, uh, and I don't even, plus three to the floor, four. Ah! Shit, I should have, probably have that number, huh? Jerk face. So, um, they really helped me a ton with this stuff. So basically, like I said, there are 12 notes in the Western chromatic scale. So the general equation that you use to figure out a possible combination, you actually have to know how long the sequence is. So let's say in an eight note sequence with 12 notes possible, you just take 12 to the eight and you figure it out. This has some problems because think about it. If you take one melody, and you put it up a half step, which would be from the same scale, um, that's still the same melody. And that's what that number gets you. So we have to figure some other things out. Basically, you need to figure out how many unique melodies are possible in each range within the range you're working with. Now what I mean by that is if you have 12 notes you need to find out how many unique melodies are in one note, how many unique melodies are there are within two notes, and three notes, and four notes, and five notes, etc. So for an example within a smaller range, uh, let's take a four note series that spans four notes. So A, B, C, D. We need to find out how many combinations there are that involve both A and D. So remember, we're going to do this with every single range within the range we want. If we really wanted to find out how many melodies were possible, period, within this four note range, we would continue this with three notes, and two notes, and one note. But we're just looking for the four note spans right now, since this is an example. It's difficult to establish outright how many melodies there are that span A, a through D but we can find what we aren't looking for and subtract them from the total. So how many combinations have no A's? Each note has only three options. So you get three to the four. Same goes for the combinations that have no D's. Each note has only three options, so you get three to the four. The combinations that have no A's and no D's leave the notes with only two options each, so you get two to the four.
But when we figured out which ones had no A's and which ones had no D's, we were already covering the possibilities that may not have either. So we actually have to subtract 2 to the 4 from the other combinations. This leaves us with 3 to the 4 plus 3 to the 4 minus 2 to the 4, which ends up being 146. So that's, again, number of combinations we don't want. Then we subtract that from the total number of possibilities, or 4 to the 4, or 256, and uh, that gets us 110. So there are 110 unique melodies that span four notes. This is the general formula. So you have to use that formula for every single range within the range you want, like I said. So if we're using 12 notes, again, not to beat a dead horse, but we'd have to find that out for one note, two notes, three notes, four notes, all the way up to 12. Now that we have all the crazy math out of the way, let's get to the numbers. So what if we start with that NBC theme I just played? Turns out if you're talking about 12 possible notes with a series of three, you get 66 total possibilities. That's not a ton. It's very possible that we've exhausted those possibilities since the Middle Ages, you know, with all the monks singing stuff. But people do like to stay to their old habits. People don't necessarily take from all 12 notes, and especially back then. But anyway, we're not going to get into music history. Chances are, though, really, if you look at it, 66 notes over how long written music has been around, it's probably all been written. But what about a five-note sequence? For example, Queen's We Will Rock You. We will, we will rock you. That actually gets you 87,781 possibilities with just five notes. So that's like 50 songs every year since the invention of written music. That's probably less than the number of songs that have been written since the dawn of written music, but still, chances are most people weren't composing totally original music every single time. But if we up that, just up that another note, six notes, some famous six note phrases are uh, Stevie Wonder's Superstition, Very superstitious. Uh, Love Potion Number Nine, the potion number nine. also uh, Evil Ways by Santana. You got to change your evil ways. I'm not sure who first did that, but it's pretty similar. Also a jazz favorite, Cry Me a River. Now you say. You're lonely. So if we take six notes, using a 12 note scale, your total number of possibilities is 1,214,423. That's a lot. That is about the same number of years ago that humans first arrived to Europe. In order to completely exhaust the number of six note combinations, people would have had to write 809 completely original tunes every year since the invention of written music. But there are plenty of songs that are more than six notes. What about an eight-note melody? Some eight-note melodies. Say You Want a Revolution by the Beatles. Say You Want a Revolution. Ben Fold's Brick. She's a brick and I'm drowning slowly. The first line of Sublime's Santeria. I don't practice Lots and lots and lots of songs. That gets you a total number of combinations of 216 million. That is more than the number of years that humans have been alive on Earth. People would have had to write 144,000 original melodies every year for an eight note melody to be exhausted. But to be fair, usually people don't just choose from all 12 notes. Especially in pop music, there's usually only a five or six note combination possible, especially if you're just using three chords. So we can we can even take that down. We can say you can say if you're gonna do an eight note melody with 
a six note range, that's still 144,495 combinations. So again, since the dawn of written music, people would have had to write about 100 songs a year that were completely original for that to be exhausted. So really in conclusion, <laughs> like most questions, this has a whole lot more to it than just a simple number. Have we exhausted everything? It's possible, but it's also very possible that people play what they know, people write what they know, people write what they hear, and just think about how many songs are being written that are kind of copies of other songs. So I guess the idea is if you want to write an original melody, just be original. Use as many notes as you can. I mean, no, don't do that. There's a whole chromatic scale out there. Stretch out. Be original. Anyway, eight notes on a 12 note melody, 216 million combinations. Just saying. <laughs>